Namaste all of you. Today we will going to discuss about the brief description or brief history of computer. Guys, today in this great digital world, we are using computer too much. So, we should know the history of computer. The computer as we know it today had its beginnings with the 19th century. English mathematics professor called Charles Babbage. He designed and he designed the analytical engine and it was a design that the basic framework of the computer of today are based on. Generally speaking, computers are classified into three generations. Each generation lasted for a certain period of time and each gave us either new and improved computers or an improvement to the existing computer. So we are now going to discuss the three different generations that is first generation, second generation and third generation. Now I proceed to the first generation. The first generation period from 1937 to 1946. In 1937, the first electronic digital computer was built by Dr. J. V. Aston and Clifford Berry. It was called the Astonos of Berry computer, that is ABC. In 1943, an electronic computer named the Colossums was built for the military. Other developments continue until in 1946. The first general purpose, that is, purpose the digital computer, the electronic numerical integrator and computer, that is ENIAC, was built. It is said that this computer weighed 30 tons and had 18,000 vacuum tubes, which was used for processing. When this computer was turned on for the first time, lights dim in section of area. Computers of this generation could only perform single task and they had no operating system. Uh, details about the second generation, the second generation starting from 1947 to 1962. This generation of computer used transistors instead of vacuum tubes. That is, here vacuum tubes get replaced by transistors, which are more reliable. In 1951, the first computer for commercial use was introduced to the public. The Universal Automatic Computer, that is UNIVAC-1, one In 1953, the international business machine, that is now it's called IBM, then also called it is IBM, 650 and 700 series computer made their mark in the computer world. During this generation of computer, over 100 computer programming languages were developed. Computers had memory and operating system. Storage media such as tape and disk were in use also were printers for output. Now we discuss our third generation that is 1963 to present. This invention of integrated circuit brought us the third generation of computers. With this invention computers become smaller become smaller, more powerful, more reliable, and they are able to run more different programs at the same time, simultaneously. In 1980, Microsoft Disk Operating System, that is MS-DOS, was born. And in 1981, IBM introduced a personal computer, that is PC, for home and office use. Three years later, Apple gave us the Macintosh computer with its icon driver interface. And the 90s gave us Windows Operating System. As a result of various improvements, of the computer to the development of the computer we have seen the computer being used in all areas of life it is a very useful tools that will continue to experience in development as time passes so computer is very important nowadays in our life obviously in, uh, in a series of states in a uh, particular state also we need lots of computers and programming etc so those are the brief description of the history of computer thank you very much for listening to this video thank you